Hello watch fans. Berth here watches here. This time for you we have a circa 1973 Amiga Automatic. Now this watch has a couple of issues. We're going to do some positives first and then the issues. So positives are that you've got a 35mm stainless steel case. It looks like it's been polished at some point in the past. It's just not quite as crisp as you'd hope for. But looks nice and shiny with it. New black leather strap, running well with the automatic 1012 uh, caliber movement with quick set date, original signed crown. So lots of good things going for it. On the downside, we think this case and movement is from an Amiga Geneve automatic, not a Seamaster. The dial, we think, is a later replacement. Now it looks to be original. We showed you on a video the other day about black dials being notoriously the ones that have overpainted. If I zoom in on this, you see that the hour markers sit on top of the dial. They've not been painted around. So we think this is an original dial. But what's probably happened is the original Geneve dial has been marked in some way or got patina and they've said to their watchmaker said look can you fix that I said oh I've got a dial for an Amiga just down here because both the Seamaster and Geneve both use the same movement the dial feet would all be right it would slot on nice and easy it wouldn't have been done as a, a thing to mislead because a Seamaster is only worth fractionally more than a Geneve so the cost of doing the work would have far outweighed any benefit so what does that mean today? It means that this is priced far more attractively because it's not quite right than it would be if it said Geneve on the dial. It also means cosmetically it's a good looking thing. But we're just selling it as an Amiga automatic. Only you me and anyone watches this video will know that it was originally a Geneve. It's very, I mean, it's a marketing difference between the two anyway. It's not chalk and cheese. And it gives you the opportunity to get a nice 1970s Amiga automatic watch at a good price. Available now at berthierwatches.com. The link's in the comments below. Thanks.